Ladies and gentlemen, we start the Tales from the Flipside Marker Report. All right, here we go. Um, Look at this. Marvel Spotlight 5, CGC 80, 4200. One bid, which is interesting. One bid. Yeah, it was uh, fucking done. One and done. Okay. It's not I mean, bad. Yeah, not nothing to say. I mean, you know, we'll, we'll just roll through these. That, one, that one's just for TJ because he's like, you motherfuckers always throw that stupid book on there. Uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer Library Edition. Uh, I guess if I remember correctly, I got to channel my inner Z here. Nines and tens are really rare, so uh, uh, approximately eleven hundred dollars for eight bids, man, for a Buffy book. So that's if you're on the lookout, Carter. You see Buffy the Vampire laying around, brother. Never. I know. I know. You're giving uh, away trade secrets. Yeah, giving away okay. trade secrets. Yeah, okay. X Men One, a point five. It looks like a three and a half, but it got a point five. So it, how does it look like something? It looks like it's missing pages. A page. Oh, oh, okay, cool, yeah. cool. So do you do you try to quest on that for five grand and turn that into a three and a half for a one? You could buy or? a three five for a little more than ten k earlier this month in a heritage auction. Uh, be patient on these books. There's opportunities. X Men One is down. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm a buyer on X Men One, but not this incomplete copy. Regardless of how well it presents, I think. Uh, a lot more Frankensteining is going on than we suspect, but I know, need to sell I, my ass of annual ones. I got to get them graded. That's just it. Just keeps selling me because people are buying point fives. Uh, Incredible Hawk 80, 181, obviously 7700, 15 bids. I'm cool with that. Yeah. It's a nice, it's a nice looking copy. Yeah, it saddens me. I had, you know, it saddens me. Uh, 180, 96, big boy, 9400 dollars. It's a beautiful book. You in on it? Was I it like for you? I like 180 and 181 at the upper upper uh, end of the grade. You know, nine four, nine six, nine eight. Okay. I think there's still opportunity for explosive growth there. I think this is a great buy at twenty one hundred dollars. Uh, eight fives were about twenty five hundred dollars right before the uh, movie, and we didn't even get to see the Black Knight. Mm-hmm. Um, Kid Harrington is going to get his own movie no question in my mind that'll be a big deal okay uh hawk 1-0 god hawk damn it, i fucking love that eight grand uh i mean it's it oh dude congratulations to the buyer that's a beautiful book that's a beautiful i, I wonder what the back i wonder what the back looks like not saying it matters but uh Oh boy, Giant so Size X Men One. P- that's the uh, X- yeah, that's the Anna Love burnt uh, pages. Yeah, copy. Uh, if you follow yeah. Anna on IG or uh, Facebook, you'll uh, note that she astutely observed that PGX, who please don't buy their books, um, labels uh, this as burnt pages. Okay. Which is fucking hilarious. Hmm. Good. Uh, 620. 620 for a burnt copy, so that's interesting. Yeah, what uh, do you guys think about this one? The collectible classics, the uh, museum copies? Uh, it's interesting, isn't it? It, uh, it looks generic. Yeah. On some level. But really? Yeah. When did this come out? What year did this come out? 98. Uh, well after Spider Man would. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean uh, 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 if you come across I mean if I come across it cheap, of course, yeah, a, but yeah. I'm not going out of the game. way. Yeah, I'm not going out of the way for this. I like it. Oh, here we go. The nine now, eight. Would New you stand. go the fuck out of the way for this motherfucker, huh? I, I had one. I had it it was cracked though. This the, the Walmart nine eight. Yeah, Woo! The, the CGC was cracked, dude. My, my my slap is cracked, but um, it's tough, man. It's tough. I, I bought this back book. in the day for like I think me and Lake bought it for like three hundred bucks or something. I can't remember. It was cheap, but yeah, I, I love it. I, I kind of was sad we kind of sold it, but whatever. It is what it is. Uh, three hundred nine eight three hundred bang. Wow, 60s. that seems that wow. seems does that seem low to me? Does that seem low to no. us? No, that's no. way the fuck up. Is the it? number in my head for that is a is five thousand. So yep. that's, that's pretty way damn the fuck good. up. That's, that's way the fuck up. Yep. 
and uh, the nine six is down, which is why I put it next. Hey, right. holy crap! Yeah, that was a two thousand dollar book all day. Yeah. Um, what? So the disparity there is is substantial. Um, I, I really think there's probably an opportunity at the nine six level, uh, and you know I think. Uh, okay, so let's go. Let's 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 CPR these things. Do you CPR nine sixes and hopefully get nine eights? You might have to buy a lot of nine sixes. Yeah, to get one nine eight out of it, maybe. Grading costs are expensive, but when there's that kind of disparity. I'll take three nine sixes uh, over one nine eight, and uh, keep a thousand dollars, and roll the dice. Did you guys? Uh, did you oh guys boy. already uh, do, the, do the do um, the point five? Uh... Bark copy. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I smoked it up here. It's. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna. Sorry. You get excited about bark right too. Bark copy. Well, yeah. not just that. Um, that is our time to give away oh. Oh. our favorite friend yeah. of the show, Miss Anna Love, her oh, amazing, sure. uh, you want to take, oh, there we go, because Anna Love tweeted this or Instagrammed this today. Uh, this is on eBay and is my new favorite page quality ever, burnt to off white. So there you go. Shout out to Anna Love. And uh, in order to give this a book away, we have to pick a comment mm-hmm. from last week's video. Let's do that. Oh, that's fucking hilarious. The, the burnt to off white. I, mean, I would buy. Yeah. Would you buy that for six hundred bucks just to keep it keeping it Fiji extra label? Uh, yeah, no. I think that's. I would buy. I would spend six hundred dollars on that book. That book to me is kind of like the um, like a, Green like Goblin a, the one, the girlfriend book. Yeah. Right. I mean, I don't know, dude. I try to. I don't. I try to to have zero support for PGX as a matter of principle, but that's just personal preference. Um, it's, it's the Brian smoke break copy. That's funny. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna take a little hey, time out. Take a little time out here, guys. <laughs> you ran out of Bible paper. <laughs> Me? No. Five pages. <laughs> size smoke a giant size X Men. All right, let me get the link. I don't know why this isn't working here. Real quick. Okay. And, and love in the chat. What's up, girl? I would I would definitely be down to buy a six hundred dollar book if Brian smokes it. <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> Big old Cheech and Chong style. Dope. Why isn't this working? Hold on here, guys. Hold on here. Oh, look at this guy. We'll we'll, we'll hit this guy up sooner. Brother Christopher. Brother Christopher. He's a good man. He is a good man. Mm-hmm. Copy that link. Oh, hey, thanks for the four ninety nine. Yeah, look at that. kind soul. Look at that. We'll we'll talk about it. I, I kind of briefly put it up there. AS manual one CGC point five was his sale. So I love the guys in the chat who claim it's their sale. I love it. It's like a it's like a it's like a low key flex on people. I love it. All right. So the way that we did this is uh, we asked everybody to go to uh, it episode 197 and tell us their uh either best flipping story of flipping a book from a raw to a graded copy and then a lot of people who have don't own any really graded books talked mm-hmm. about some of their best stories so what we're gonna do is we're only if one if a con- and i hate to say this guys but this is just the way it is uh it's the winner is going to be one of those comments it's not going to be a comment talking about something else it's going to be a comment talking about you know their favorite thing so sure. if the first one we pick uh, isn't like that don't get don't get all buttered all right here we go this is for the short boxed 9.8 killing joke uh if you guys don't know about short box short box is an amazing app where you can go buy and sell slabbed books makes it very easy to do both um, now it's a thousand dollar book they third party the deal right you send the book to them they verify yes. it take the money uh, provides uh, some real uh, safety for people like myself that are neurotically nervous about selling big books online. Correct. And also the great Anna Love. Make sure you guys follow Anna Love on IG. All right, here we go. And the winner is... dun da da 
Film Boy UK. So we're oh. going to the UK, ladies and gentlemen. You know how it works on here. Maybe not my best flip, but my favorite was the copy of UF4 1 in 25 variant that I had asked the dealer to take a look at during San Diego 2019, which I then somehow managed to drop, putting a dent in it. So, of oh, course, Jesus. I bought it, but I was kind of sad to have spent that kind of money on a book that was already not looking great before I damaged it. Probably wouldn't have bought it if I hadn't dropped it, but somehow it graded a 9.0, and I still have it sitting on my shelf. Given the rise in that book, now I feel yeah. like it was kind of lucky I dropped it. At some point, I will sell it to pay for the upgrade copy I'm waiting on. Great pick. We should, we should, uh, we should, we should snip that, and we can throw it on Instagram. Yeah, and... Uh, film boy uh hit us up um hopefully you may might be watching if you're not watching make sure you guys hit us you hit us up uh anna and us and the short box guys will probably want to get you on and talk to you a little bit and yeah. uh uh because i know anna definitely wants to meet the person uh who wins this um so uh make sure to hit us up uh at tales from the flip side channel at gmail.com or hit us up on ig uh, you can see all of our uh, personal IGs, and you, we also have the flip side, Tales from the Flip Side, at Tales from the Flip Side on IG. So nice win. We're going to the UK. It's either the UK or the Philippines or Singapore. Yeah. I, that's never all fails. the winners that I always Never pick. fails. So, never fails. Ne never fails. Shout out to Anna Love who says, yay. Amen. That, that was a really cool gesture. And uh, yeah. thanks to the guys at Shortbox who are putting out a really great um, app and will continue to make it even better. Um, make sure you guys check it out and uh, hopefully uh, we'll uh, hear some more from them in the future. That's uh, that's David Samuelson's alt account. Oh, uh, so that was way, way. Sorry. sorry, 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 there David. I'm sorry. sorry. On to the market report. Okay, so uh, back where we kind of left off here. Uh, this one. Okay, yeah, as Mr. Christopher Gobert said, uh, a 0.5 ASM annual, um, 290 bucks. I thought you were telling me they were telling for a thousand. Now, is this because the cover's ripped in half? Because the cover's ripped in half. It's all about cover appeal on the, the incompletes. Cover appeal. Sorry. Okay. Cool. Yep. I mean, two, 290, I mean, for that's, you know, low, no low grades. Doesn't, you yeah, know, doesn't I wouldn't matter. have paid fucking two hundred ninety dollars for that book. I think it was a great sale. Strong yeah. like bull. Yeah, bulls. Uh, ASM fourteen. A little. I think that's one. a fucking deal, dude. Yeah. Um, you know, sincerely, we've talked uh, uh, at least in private circles about how ASM fourteen uh, hasn't seen the explosive growth that a lot of these other major silver age keys have. It's inched up incrementally. Um, but he is Spider-Man's number one villain. I mean, he kills Gwen Stacy. Spoiler. Um, hey, hey, in hey, hey. Uh, it's a, it's just a beautiful presenting copy. I, I really, uh, you know, congratulations to the buyer. I always loved how it had that Hulk thing on the cover too. Yeah, right. I know a lot of people didn't like that, but I think that makes it even cooler. Hell yeah. Uh, this one, a little Terrors of the Jungle, a little LB so Cole. Yeah, Never so, seen that before. I uh, I was watching this one. Yeah, seven twenty. Yeah, it's it's good, man. It's it's one of those cooler LB Cold where it's not too psychedelic, but it's psychedelic. You know, LB Cold started getting a little crazy with the coloring. This one's not terrible, man. It's uh, it's really awesome. So, uh, what's this one? Oh, a little Chambers of Chills twenty three. Yeah, so that copy presents beautifully well. I think. Um, the grade is appropriate if you looked at the listing uh it, it, i don't know if the book can withstand it but um if you can remove the stain mm -hmm. it's going to be a fucking major major upswing on this sucker hmm. um i should have sent uh brian a picture of the back cover that showed the stain uh, wasn't but, there uh, a big uh, chamber of chills book that recently sold uh the, the one from black hat collection i had on amen yeah i didn't even know where i ended um hundred yeah oh Plus. really oh nice i think it was 125 right was it 125 i don't remember one i can uh oh one second let me um anyways this. the dude who bought it black hat bought it for a thousand yeah yeah and uh i believe uh our buddy um the man behind the red hood picked it up oh here um if i do this real quick 
uh, and I do this real quick. Hold on one second. Give me two seconds. That's what I do for everybody. Bam. Uh, so I make it happen. Oh, yeah. I will. So you can see the staining on the on the side over here. That's it. That's nothing. I mean, yeah, you kind of got to zoom in on the stain to see. Yeah. But I think I think why is out. it? Why is the um where it says the number and the day and the and the price all red? Did they color that in? I, it could be the scan. I don't know. Let's get scan. They I paint it with red. But anyways, I show it. Yeah. so I just so I can show everybody that. Okay, uh, here we go. Blade the Vampire Hunter number one, little nine eight for ninety four, three eighty two. Huh. Yeah, I don't really care. Those books oh. are too much raw. I don't. Oh boy, it's not my thing. That's a cool fucking book. I've never had one. I really like it. WonderCon variant from 2013, uh, Star Wars Legacy number one, volume two. Uh, come on, Brian, help me out with this first half of is it Anya Solo? Uh, Anya? I thought it was Anya. Anya. Yeah. Okay. Anya. Uh, 383 bucks. Anya. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Um, so yeah, but it is a cool book, dude. It's kind of dope. I like how it's it's like muted grayscale kind of. Yeah, for a long time you couldn't even buy a copy. Uh, really. Yeah, hmm. interesting. I've noticed they've been popping up. They have been recently, and I should probably buy one. Could be in cheap. I just like it. I like the character. Uh, no TV uh, or movie spec. How about this fucking yeah. steal, huh? Yeah, Forever People number one nine six eleven I mean, hundred twenty five dollars. My how the mighty have fallen. Yeah, that's yeah. I remember this is one of those G plus books, Brian. I remember people were stomping on for Forever People back in the day. Yeah. Um. Batman 1, page 7. Uh, first appearance of the Joker, classic golden age. I, I'm, I'm going to reserve myself because it's fucking terrible. I should have had this for $350 back in the day. Uh, $3,300 now. So it went from $350 to $3,300. So, uh, enough said there. Vampirello, this is crazy. Number one, eight and a half, $2,800. You think that's Damn. cheap, George? I, love uh, that book. I think it's a good buy. I think that that uh, and I again I, I uh, only briefly looked at it. The book looks like um, you got a shot at at maybe getting a higher grade. I, I don't know, but I've seen CGC be very fucking kind mm -hmm. to these magazines, um, and I think that copy is beautiful. We got uh, what's this little ping fang foom strong chi action, right? Strange Tales 89 30 1700 1800. Yeah, old, school. And old, old label, old label. and it's old a label. nice looking 30 man. A nice yeah. looking old label, it looks good. So, it'll probably Is come it? back at a four, maybe. maybe. <laughs> uh, what do we got? Uh, Gen I love 13. This. Gen I 13. fucking love this. This is this is Brian written all over. Gen 13 variant cover, collectors pack, artist proof editions. C I probably would have bought that if I knew it was out there. Four forty one. Um, I always look. I've for got the, one of those. The the artist proof ones. Yeah. Wow. Nice. So what's different? Are they are they all signed? Or what's the difference? I don't know. It's still it's in the still package. sealed. Yeah. So I have a sealed Jim Lee one. I have a two sealed J. Scott Campbells and an open and two open J. Scott Campbells. Nice. Um, I would love to know what makes these different. If there are, if the chromium signed by all the artists, because usually get J. Scott Campbell, Jim Lee. Uh, who's the the other guy that it sucks when you get him? I mean, I mean he's a great artist. I just can't remember the other artist. There's like, like three or four artists that you get. Um, you know mm -hmm. who signed it um and then you so, get all 13 of 13 right which has all the different uh um homage variants back when they didn't do homage variants this might have been the very first homage variant like mm -hmm. run right it had the janet jackson homage variant it had yeah, the, I got one of those. the 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 pulp fiction homage it had so many homage variants it was unreal man I, um, um, it had the first sketch cover, which looks like a blue sketchboard. It's got the little writings on it. It it was way ahead of its time. 
I uh, since, since we coined the 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 phrase "dirty flipper," I'm gonna. This is a garage digger book. There's people watching this show right now going to their garage and digging a few Gen 13s in their in their in their long boxes, trying to see if they have one of these. Books. I'm a buyer on Gen 13 books. I yeah, fucking love them, especially newsstands. Yeah, I just wonder if I can live long enough for it to come back. But I mean, that's like quintessential '90s goodness for me. Yeah, shout out to Spider Girl sixty nine with the super sticker five bucks. <laughs> I like it. Boom. <laughs> thinking of Joe Mad. Is that who I'm thinking? Right. No, it wasn't Joey Mad. That. It was uh, who was the other guy that was doing Gen thirteen with them um, that did some of the covers. Uh, somebody will remember. Or I'll go grab my, the the actual set. Yeah, we'll Limited to a thousand copies. Huh. Huh. Yeah, Michael hey. says limited to a thousand copies. Was the artist edition limited to a thousand copies, or all of them? Hold up, I, listen. I know, I know, Michael Bajel. How the hell did you know that? Yeah. I didn't know that. How did oh, you know that? Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Not Alex Garner. I'll know yeah. it when somebody says it. It's That's a okay. Wikipedia search. A little Doctor Solar Man of Adam Number One. Here cool. I, dude, I, I think that's a good buy too. That's I love that color. dude. That is like the that's number two on the most undervalued book of all time list. Number what's two. Number, what's number one? Magnus Robot Fighter number one. God damn you. I got one of those too. You're killing me here, giving away all the good secrets. But yeah, I mean I you know. Interesting. Great books. Interesting. Uh somebody picked up a, a Magnus Robot Fighter number one. I think it was maybe Ethan. Um, that w- it was a nice copy. I can't remember if it was him I, or Joe. I, they just barely flashed it. I was like, ooh, and then put it right back in their fucking bag. <laughs> like, you ain't getting that. <laughs> there was only 2,500 total of the regular ones and only 1,000 of the artist proofs. So there you go. Wow. Nice. Yeah. And let's see here. So Gen 13 homage set. Sorry, guys. Oh, you're Keep okay. going. No, I'm just saying, uh, you know what's funny is you try to look at that on a famous website, and there is not uh, the Dell Key issues, only Dark Horse. Oh, the Gold Key. Okay, I see it right here. Dumbass. Choi. Um, Choi is the guy. Uh, what's his first name? Uh, let me see here. Brandon Choi. That's who it is. Oh, God damn, you got a good memory. Jesus yeah. Christ. Did you look that uh, up or did you remember that? I looked it up. That one I had to look up. That's you a know, fucking brain buster. Holy okay. fuck. Okay, boys. So at a very reputable site, you can get a 7 0 for 500 bucks or best offer. Do you pull the trigger? Or you... No. Okay. Just asking. I mean, is it raw? No, it's graded already. Yeah, no. Okay. I mean, that's market. I, yeah, no, it's I just know. hard to find that book in like real high grade yeah. and then a stack. I think it makes sense. It's funny. It's like it's undervalued, but it's overpriced. It's it's uh, it's weird. It's weird. Michael was talking about the uh, Star Wars Legacy, not the uh, oh. artist. Uh, okay. Uh, Love this book. Spider Man and Amazing Friends number one. CC nine eight. Uh, now, New hey, State, for, right, for the record, New State? but I mean, think about it, right? Like Firestar. Yeah. Seven thirty five. Yeah. Solar nine zero. Mm. Stack and some change. Yeah. The price in comics just makes no sense to me. Yes. Was there, like, wasn't this used to be a stack? Wasn't this a stack book back in the day? Fuck it. No, I know. No. I don't, I Not don't back in the so. day. Back in the day, it was like six weeks ago. Well, it's um, a tough book to find, though. I have never found book this book in a while. I agree. Uh, ooh, a little 181 ad page. That's wild. That's kind of cool. That's just something... I guess I'm not for fucking twenty five hundred dollars. Well, no, no, okay, Jesus okay. Yeah. And there's sixty four bids. I um twenty five hundred dollars. Yeah, it's not, it's it's cool, but not twenty five hundred dollars cool. But it's still cool to have. It'd be cool like if it was what is like a G maybe, buying it at a G. I mean, if you're saying this thing is worth what five hundred, four hundred. I would that five hundred dollars cool. So we know it didn't come from Thor one twenty nine. Is that what it, Thor one nineteen? Isn't that the one that has the Ghost Rider Marvel value stamp? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Huh. I don't know which one this is. This might is be it? the Daredevil one, right? No, it's a Marvel premiere. It's Marvel a premiere. Marvel yeah. premiere nineteen. I can't remember. I can't. Yeah, Marvel this. premiere nineteen. Daredevil one oh seven. 
Yeah. And then Thor 119, I think. Yeah, this is Marvel Bear 19. Look at how smart I am. A little FF1, slight amateur restoration. Yeah, hold on. When they say That's when they say slight, they slight. mean the fucking book was completely trimmed. <laughs> like they ran it through a like one of those paper cutters on two sides, exactly. <laughs> yeah, like major. Because I was watching it, dude. It was like it was cheap for a hey, long time, dude. What, and I was just you, like, "Oh, you, come on!" Like, can I steal this book? Can I steal this book? And it went from like twenty five hundred to like twelve thousand five hundred, and like you know that last you, day or something. I was just like, oh. "What do you think these trimmers do with the extra extra stuff they trim off?" <laughs> That's what I want to know. <laughs> Do they make like a spaghetti like diagram of all the trimmings oh, and make a book Jesus out of it? Jesus Christ. That's terrible. Uh huh. There we go. Spider Gwen, uh, Ghost Spider 1, 9, 8. Dude, this book is clubbing Edge of Spider Verse 2. Hey, who had one of those at Baltimore? Our buddy Tony, but oh, uh, he who's got it now is Yee. Yee's oh, got it now. Yee. So. Yeah, that's a book people hated on when it first came out uh, I- because one of the other buying groups made a run on it. Yep. And uh, it has not fucking slowed down. Correct. Ji Hung. You like this shit? Nope. Look at this. Bang, bang. Ooh, I'm jacking into that. Ooh. <laughs> Somebody just had a stack of them. I Let him go. I was like, what the fuck? You I got a st- uh, I, dude, I got a stack of them. Nice. Should I just nice. get rid of them all yeah. right now? or I don't, just I don't know about all that. Before you, should yeah. least, you should at least sell me one. I only got one. Me too. I, like that I, don't one. Have, I have zero. I had one. I, I'd I, like to have one more. You guys think he's got a, an outside chance of being in the Marvels or no? I don't know. I mean, I, I think I hate to say it like from a from a, a theater goer, casual viewer, they don't know who this guy is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but remember how excited we got uh, when we thought he was going to be in Scarlet Witch? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. I was fucking dancing. I was like, come on. Here we go. Let's go. Bring on the scientist. Him and Reed. I thought him and fucking Reed Richards were going to be like the two guys showing up. Like, what up? Interesting. That didn't happen. Uh, that doesn't happen. Uh, Swamp, Swamp Thing uh, 37, obviously. I was talking first. to McClay earlier today about this fucking big boy. First, first Constantine, um, not eight. Two grand. Uh, John Constantine is going to be a black man. Constantine and the... Justice League Dark is going to be fucking dark. I mean, like, <laughs> because super he's, fucking is it dark. because uh, John Constantine is going to be black? Is that why it's going to be dark? That's what I said. That's what I said. What the fuck is wrong with the two of you? No, Jesus. <laughs> I like being Carter. We're in the same. The well, same. El, Negro, El Negro Justice League. I That's think they, they should use the Spanish. same guy. I, I thought uh. that they really, I thought they said they were going to use the same guy for Justice League Dark. I, that's not what I'm hearing now, but what I am hearing for sure is that it's going to be fucking dark, like super duper dark. Is it going to be morose? Uh, yeah, like yeah, gory, yeah. just like like I don't fucking know if it's like you walk out of the like, like you walk out of the theater shell shocked. I mean, you know, it could be like Saw One. Hopefully, uh, I don't know. But we'll see. I'm excited. I like this book. Uh, I don't have, um, you know, nine, eight. Uh, I don't know that I'll ever shell out three fucking thousand dollars. Like yeah. uh, people had to, I don't even know that I could pay $2,000 for a nine, eight, frankly, I uh, but this is way down from some of the highs that it's seen earlier. Um, just such an incredible book. I, I think the people that want it um, get them and, and they don't leave their hands. So, yeah. Congratulations to the buyer. Uh, our Moon Knight check in. Uh, eight and a half world with my Knight 32, $4,300. I wonder yeah. if we're going to think that's cheap here soon. Hmm. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, everything's, everything's more expensive to me. Uh, fourth print, little uh, Darth Vader 398. I wonder if we're going to think that's cheap. Probably, yeah. But shit, dude, I remember passing that up raw for 40 bucks <laughs> like a couple years ago. So that's my favorite cover of them of the yeah. the different prints. I think, I the, think the first looks prints, the best. I had one at Bulmer, dude. First print didn't just sat there. Nobody yeah, cared but about it. The first print doesn't have the purple in it. That's I, the I know, key, bro. Know, that purple looks so good with that Darth Vader black and the droids. And yeah, that's just a great cover. Why is like it if when that Brian was, if talks that was about the, Star Wars? I want to spend money. 
If that was the one in 25, game over, man. Oh, that would have been sick. Dude, seriously, when Brian talks about Star Wars, I uh, put my fucking hand in my wallet. Yeah, that's a problem. Uh, down, down, down. Yeah. It's down. Yeah, Sandman 198. Uh, I saw somebody. By how much, uh, though? About 600 bucks. It was a $1,500 yeah. book. Yeah. Uh, I think you know, once the show hits, it'll ago. jump. I, I saw somebody it might, cost it might double, right? Like, I think it's probably if this show is a fraction as good as I expect it's going to be. And this has always been a tough book to get. Oh my god, right? A 9.8 in. Amen. I saw somebody cosplaying as Sandman, like uh, a Sandman Did thing. You? And yeah, uh, it was a news, it was in a news thing, and uh, our boy liked it. Um, the guy who did Sandman was his name. Uh, Neil Gaiman. Neil Gaiman. Yeah, oh, he actually, Neil he actually liked it on Jesus Instagram. Christ, that was sick. Uh, I, I would have a photo. I don't know what the photo is, but it was sick. Um, and Brian, here we go, buddy. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> how about this one? And talk about Battle Beast all the time. This shark one, whatever this is, uh, sells for a grip. 250 bucks for that sucker, which is crazy for all you toy fans. Uh, there is a comic I want to hit on, though, real quick. Uh, shout out to George for reminding me of this. Um, how about that one? Where is it? Right oh, there. Oh, there you go. How about that? Uh, I, um, I've been low-key looking for this book. I, yeah, I've been looking for this book for a long time. I don't want to spend that amount of money for that book. Um, I Didn't think nine eight just sell for fucking like three thousand and change. Yeah, yep. it's like yeah, it's like three thousand. You know, I, I I would realistically, if I want to buy a raw, because it's so it's so close on the nine eights and stuff, I would be in at like seven hundred. I don't think thirteen. I'm, I just can't spend thirteen hundred on a book like that, and I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like even three grand for a nine eight. Like I love that book, but one of those books that like man i it's too high right now like do i wait a couple years and you know oh look at this guy look at this guy this fucking dude doc joe i know he's been looking for one america yeah i'm sorry buddy i didn't know can we look at the i want to look at the bids and see uh (laughs) i want to see what he was willing to spend I mean, it's not so, brutal. I mean, was it six eleven? I'm joking. I don't know. It was probably uh, that. But anyways, um, all right. So that's not bad. How about this for all you Ghostbusters fans that went and saw Ghostbusters? Uh, uh, heard it was I, on, as a young kid. They were trying to get younger on this podcast. I heard it was lit. I heard. It, I, heard I heard it was the, really good. It was I heard the Ghostbusters service. movie was really good. Actually, I've heard yeah. zero people say anything negative about it. Not yeah. a soul. It was well, like straight, straightforward, very simple, and it was good to go. Ooh, one of my coolest, one of the, this. yeah, one of the coolest things that my mom did for me one year for Christmas is find an old Sears catalog from when I was a kid when it had all the shit in oh, it. Oh wow! And uh, this one, it would be perfect to give for my brother because this is my brother's age and it's got all the fucking Ghostbusters shit in it. And That's I mean, it's cool. got, it's got uh, all kinds of craziness in it. Centurions, <sighs> um, and so this type of stuff is just. Silver Hawks, just really fun to look at wow. and reminisce. Like, you know what I mean? Chuck Norris shits. Like, so, anyways, it sold for 201, 200 bucks, which isn't bad. That's cool. Um, this is kind of cool. Here you go. Um, more Ghostbuster fans. This is the uh, Ghost Nabber role playing toy. I don't remember this. I don't I never that saw either. this. Yeah. Oh. So, that's probably why it sold for so much a thousand bucks and 36 bids. We, we had the proton packs, but they were the, the ones that like the actual backpack, not the ones like that. I had the... well, this looks like it has some kind of suction cup thing on it or something. It yeah. looks like you put what little ye- ghosts what, in your pack. What year is that? Yeah, uh... so this year the uh, child actor there uh, collected social security, so we're pretty excited about that. 1984. 1984? How the yeah. hell did I not know about that? Yeah, right? So that's kind of crazy. Um, all right, get into some of the cool G.I. Joe stuff that I found uh, for a second. Uh, this is the newer stuff. This is uh, G.I. Wow. Joe Retaliation. I didn't realize these were selling for that much. Um, wow. So this is 12 figures sold for 200 bucks. Man, that's a lot of money for those newer figures. How do you how do you pack these where they like, don't get messed up, man? Just throw them all in a box, man. They'll fit perfect in a box, just like they were shipped, probably. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. No bubble wrap, uh, none of that crap. I, no, not. I mean, you can put them all together. GI Joes fit together like perfectly. Okay. Um, Interesting. 
this is a cool G.I. Joe set. Not a lot of people know about. This is the Brazil Mission Brazil set. Uh, it came with different color variants of dial tone, leather neck. Who is this? Re not repeater. This is, um, God, I'm forgetting his name. The jungle guy. Who's the jungle guy? There's uh, Ricondo is the jungle guy. That that has to be leather neck. That legitimately that? looks like a woman wearing a mustache mainframe and wetsuit i really like the dial tone dial tone was always one of my favorite joes just get rid of that cheesy backpack and he looks bad as hell i remember so, general hawk calling uh mainframe he called yeah, he always called him son dude yes. tell me that doesn't look like a woman wearing a mustache <laughs> leatherneck was badass when he first had him because he was really gotta, bright green you gotta admit. yeah Play the mainframe has a cool color variant anyway it sold for 314 dollars on 27 bids so um and here's a really cool one that it's another way to get your night force uh shockwave this one sold uh for 416 dollars it was unopened it's got a bunch of people but it's got uh i think that's repeater right that's a thing that repeater but it's got the i think it's got the night force uh shockwave in this set let's see if i can find it yeah right there there he is so Pretty cool. It sold for $416. All right. So let me do this here. Let's get rid of this stuff. All right. Back into some Star Wars stuff here. So I talk about being on the lookout for certain figures, right? Wow. The, the last 17 is the key uh, for a lot of big money on p that people don't realize they have. Usually when you see this figure, you think of that stupid B-Wing pilot in the red, which isn't that great either. This mm. figure does not look like a figure that sells for a lot, but it sells for a grip. $400 on 23 bids. It had the coin with it, which is kind of cool, and it's in decent condition. But those last 17 figures, those Power of the Force, the original 85 Power of the Force stuff is really hard to find. Um, nice. Yeah uh these are the uh coin or the droid animated sorry the animated uh figures these wow. are the ones that sell for usually the most um those uh from figures sell for a grip uh as you can see and there's the, another wicket i like the the c3po in there yeah i love that yeah this is uh the attack uh sorry the gunship the republic gunship there's two versions i think of this um i think this is the first one there's another one that has a shark painted on the front uh that's blue i think so be always on the lookout for this uh it sells for a shit ton uh loose uh, obviously it sells for even more uh box but some more star wars sales um as you can see a shit ton of money two boba fett sales and an unpunched vader from 78 that still is my heart grip i don't even fucking like toys and i would probably give a fucking kidney for one of those fucking things jesus god um, what's uh what's the difference between the two boba fett's brian well you have the tri logo here which uh, i believe is from canada right wow yeah so uh here is a set that was italian um has the uh, yak face and ev99 which are super rare and the uh um han solo and carbonite which i talked about last week during the market report when i mentioned the cyborg figure uh these two figures i remember very clearly uh picking up with my uncle one day um first time i moved here to phoenix and went to metro center mall walked into lionel's playground or whatever it was called and boom they were they had to just put out the power of the force figures it was in its own display and then the fucking superpowers figures were down the aisle mm. and i just remember grabbing cyborg because it was super shiny and then you know who doesn't want han solo and carbonite so uh the, the han solo and carbonite sells for a shit ton rare i mean shit ton loose also it's another one of those uh final figures and then, of course, these are hard to find figures. I think the 99 EV 99 comes in a Jabba set. The Anakin was tough to find because it was a mail away at one point, I think. And then, of course, Yak Face, which is always a big, big figure. But this yeah, sure. specific one sells for a shit ton. There's some cool G.I. Joe figures that people forget about. This is uh, the Tiger Fourth 20th anniversary set. It came in a big toys. It only came with Toys R Us. It came in a all they're all in one set. I just recently sold this, I think, unopened for a hundred for like either a hundred or eighty bucks about like a year ago. Not recently, a year ago. 
um and they're uh great figures i love seeing jinx in the green and tiger stripe and i love i freaking love any variants of um fucking uh the saboteur uh what's his name firefly firefly thank you any variants of firefly i pick up including the really tough to find con variants where you have a different tiger force version of them which is really cool but anyways this is a really cool set um so yeah make sure you guys pick it up my favorite part of these shows is watching uh, or listening to brian teach me about toys like, how about this one oh, any show on the channel for the this record. is this is one that we've all we've talked about many times before and i think this guy got a great freaking deal on it i don't think people the guy who sold it realized what it was because he didn't even mention it but as you can see on that cobra it's the mickey mouse version um, which sells for a shit ton. And this one has a little bit of uh, paint loss on the shield, but it comes with a card, his gun, uh, and I think the battle points. Uh, and, o- and it only sold for $253. I think that was a steal. What's the battle steal. points? What does that mean? I think that's that little card right there, right next to his gun. Do you, you, see, that little, get... do you see that little number? Yeah. It's a, those are you. battle points. They came with every figure, and if you saved them up, you could get other figures later down the line by sending them in. You could get special. I think that's how I got my uh, fridge figure or something like that. Yeah, sometimes on G.I. Joe cards, you'll see, like, a little square cut out, and that's uh, somebody turned in their battle points to get something, you know. Yeah, flag points or battle points? I can't remember. Yeah, flag points, yes. Flag points. There we go. Thank you, cover lover. Yeah. Yeah, Justin Shannon says, I hate Tiger Force. Night Force is cool. I, I I didn't like Tiger Force at the time, but as I got older, I thought it was really cool. I loved Python Force figures. Night Force is the coolest, I agree. I agree. Um, all right. The, it, I was really hoping, you know, that uh, Nate was going to be able to tell the story, um, but he's got a great story about Snake Eyes. Not this Snake Eyes, though. Um, I, th- I th- This is crazy to see a... Re- uh, 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 you know, a loose figure of Snake Eyes, even though it's all there and he's in good condition. A loose vo- a version two Snake Eyes, so which is my favorite figure in GI Joe, um, sold for one hundred twenty six dollars, thirty nine bids. Uh, great looking figure. Um, yeah, because that's low or high. I think that's high. I think okay. that's high to me. Like I don't know. I don't. I don't follow it that much. You know what I mean? But that blows me away that it sells for that much. I want to say I paid like thirty dollars for my last loose. Uh, version two snake eyes but you know that was a while ago um but well, the story i want to tell is about Jesus. this figure so <laughs> nate uh, i think he told this story on uh old school comics um you guys can check it out it was me mikey halperin and nate and uh that was one of my favorite episodes nate tells a story he was a kid um and he had already bought he had already got his uh version one snake eyes and he had one at home but he was in a store with his dad a drugstore with his dad and he saw that they had one and at the time even snake eyes was like the character everybody wanted right so you it was hard to find snake eyes so he told his dad i he, you know he grabbed it and he said i, I gotta get a second one you know and uh his dad's like i'm not gonna get you a se- you're not gonna get a second one like what the hell and he goes, uh, he bribed his dad saying that if he didn't buy it for him, he would tell mom and mom would, you know, be mad. So his dad said, screw it. Just give me it. I'll buy it. He bought it for him and he left it unopened. Still has it to this day. I think it's graded an AFA. I want to say 85. Wow. It might have been. Um, and uh, yeah, he showed it. He held it up. He had it sitting there. It was really cool. Really cool story to hear. You know, just takes me back to. A time period when you can walk into a Woolworths or you know and, and see GI Joe figures on the pegs, like yeah. <laughs> yeah, great stuff. So, um, yeah, four almost four grand for an AFA eighty five uh, piece back Hasbro GI Joe Snake Eyes one. It's All right, awesome. This is crazy. Uh, I can't believe this sold for this much. And it was a charity benefit. This should have sold for way more, in my opinion. It's got both the Malik and the Revan figures, which are super hard to find. And it's got the first appearance of Malik in there. Which is, for the record, a hard fucking book to find. I, ha- I have yet to find that book. I have yet to late even in the see run. that book. I have, I have never, I've never seen, seen that it. book. Yeah. It's yeah. late in the run. You know yep. what I mean? Like... 
42, 41. I can't remember. One of the two. I don't remember, but it's late in the fucking run. It's a, I mean, that's yeah, a great it's got deal, Revan man. and Malik in it. So this was a great sale, but for what a steal for 125 bucks, in my opinion. Fuck yeah, dude, it was just poorly listed, but somebody got lucky. Yeah, yeah. So that was cool. Uh, this is interesting. So these NECA um, horror figures sell for a grip, even loose. Huh. The Jason, the Freddy. There's a Patrick Bateman one, which is great. And, the, yeah, and they shit. all talk. Fucking awesome. Yeah. They're talking, right? And they're 18 inches. So you, there's like five of them, I think. But they sell for a grip. Uh, a ton of them sold this week. I just thought the Captain Spaulding one was a cool one to show. It sold for $405, 45 wow. bids. Um, this is interesting. I love this card. Obviously, kind of uh, that uh, it's got that old school comic feel, you know, blonde red dress chick, you know. And uh, it's sold this week. Loose, uh, decent condition. Um for $408. This is probably one of the higher cards in the set. All right. So this is interesting. Uh, looking at some of these autograph cards that you could pull out of some of the older, uh, you know, packs and stuff. Very uh, cool. a, a Willem Dafoe autograph card pulled from the old school Spider-Man, original Spider-Man, Tobey Maguire card set, $305. It's crazy to me. That's a great photo. Yeah. Um, this one... Uh, Hugh Jackman, five hundred and eleven dollars. Um, there was a Lou Ferrigno that also sold uh, for like three hundred and eleven. This is crazy to me. Like, uh, so these packs are selling for three fifty raw, right? Three fifty raw. This is old school GAI uh, on the right. I can't remember if that's new GAI on the left, but I know the the right is old school GAI, GAI who used to be the only people that graded packs. So if you see the old school GAI, don't think that that's like any like less than PSA because it could be, but it also could be really good because it's the only company that graded packs back then. So for, for instance, I have a 1976 Tops football cello with Walter Payton rookie on the top, uh, and it's all see-through. And it was a GAI 7, and um, I bought it, you know, just no matter what, but I, I crossed it over to PSA and it came back a seven. So, it, nice. so the GIAI ones don't on the older ones. If you know what you're looking at, don't feel terrible about buying them, but that nine looks really nice. The the pack is really nice centered um, for 600 bucks, man. That's crazy. I bought my PSA nine for $200 three years ago, two years ago, hmm. something like that. Uh, all right, last one. Here's the the Lou Ferrigno. Uh, hmm. It is a sealed, so it might have been a um, what do they call that? Where you send, you have to send it in. Uh, like a redemption. A redemption. Thank you. A redemption card. That's how they usually do the redemption cards. But two hundred four dollars for a Lou Ferrigno autograph, which is kind of sweet. So that is the market report for October one second. <laughs>